Yes. Am I live? Just give me a minute, dear learners. Okay, I am live. I am live. Is the audio fine? Okay, let's begin. Let's begin the session. Welcome everyone. My name is Manoj Kumar. I'm a civil engineering graduate. I've cleared SSC CPO, ASS UDC and LIC ADO. So about plus courses, you will get live classes, weekly test, structured courses, unlimited access. You also get personal guidance that is one-to-one -one guidance from top exam expert. You get a study planner that's a customized study plan with bi-weekly review. You also get study material that is specialized notes and practice set. You also get expert guidelines that is study booster workshop by exam expert and you also get test analysis. Going forward about iconic features, you will have priority in doubt solving and priority in live classes. Priority in doubt solving will be in the Unacademy app via Ask a Doubt feature and priority in live classes will be in the live class via Raise a Hand feature. Going forward, what is Ask a Doubt feature uh, that is now available on Unacademy website? So you, you can ask up to three doubts at a go and uh, you get solutions in your preferred language. You can submit your doubts through the Unacademy app or the learner application going forward here you can have a look at the test series a few test series are for free and a few paid tests as well so you can attempt all these tests live and recorded now going forward raise hand feature this is applicable only for plus and iconic subscribers what is raise hand feature so in the middle of a live class if you have any doubt you get the option to raise a hand you can raise your hand and talk to your favorite educator and get your doubts resolved in the middle of a live class remember online is much better than offline going forward about ssc subscription for two years it is 7800 for one year it is 6500 and for six months it is 5400 all you need to do is you need to use my code my code is mj10 and you'll get 10 percent off on your subscription going forward report and win feature this is an opportunity for all learners to report any inappropriate content in the video and if you're the first one to report a particular issue you get to claim price so report any inappropriate content using the form in the description box below all set let's crack it even before that a last announcement so there is a scholarship test on 27th this is not on 20th this is on 27th scholarship test on 27th Bank exam is at 10 a.m. SSC is at 2 p.m. Railways is at 5 p.m. Rank 1 will get Asus Vivo uh, book laptop. Rank 2, 2 to 6 will get Samsung Galaxy M32 5G mobile phone. Rank 7 to 16 will get JBL Truly Wireless uh, earbuds. And uh, the link for this test is down in the description below. So please do enroll now. Going forward. Okay, 
what is the theme of fintech open month by nitiayo what is the theme is it achieve or startups free or open right answer here is open open is the theme of fintech open month by nitiayo more on this Niti Aayog has started the Fintech Open Month from Feb 7, 2022 in coordination with PhonePay. It is the first of its kind initiative wherein Fintech professionals can collaborate, exchange ideas and innovate. It will continue till Feb 28, 2022. The overarching theme of Fintech Month of Niti Aayog is open. Going forward to the next question, singer, music composer Bappi Lahiri passes away at 69. What is his real name? Bansu Lahiri, Lahiri Mohan, Alokesh Lahiri or Aparish uh, Lahiri. Right answer here is Alokesh Lahiri. Uh, singer, music composer Bappi Lahiri's a real name is Alokesh Lahiri. Singer and music composer Bappi Lahiri passed away at the age of 69 at Mumbai's Criticare Hospital on Feb 16, 2022 due to OSA. OSA is obstructive sleep apnea. He won the Filmfare Lifetime Achievement Award at the 63rd Filmfare Award in 2018. Bappi Lahiri joined the Bharatiya Janata Party in 2014. His real name was Alokesh Lahiri. Going forward, India and Australia organized which edition of India-Australia Energy Dialogue in February 2022? Second edition, third edition, fourth edition or fifth edition? Right answer here is fourth edition. More on this, the fourth uh, India-Australia Energy Dialogue was on Feb 15, 2022 through video conferencing. The dialogue was co-chaired by Union Minister for Power and uh, New and Renewable Energy, R.K. Singh and Australian Energy and Emissions Reductions Minister, Angus Taylor. The main topic of discussion during the dialogue was energy transition with focus on renewable energy, energy efficiency, storage, electronic vehicles, critical uh, minerals, among others. Both the countries, they signed a letter of intent for working towards reducing the cost of new and renewable energy technologies and scaling up their deployment and global emissions. Going forward, International Childhood Cancer Day. When is this observed every year? International Childhood Cancer Day is observed. When is it observed every year? 14 February, 15 February, 16 February or 17 February. So in right answer here is 15 february that is the right answer international childhood cancer day is celebrated it is observed every year on 15 february so international childhood cancer day this is observed every year on 15 february and the purpose is to spread awareness on cancers that affects the younger population and support its victims and survivors and the theme for 2022 is better survival is achievable through your hands it is a part of three years campaign. So from 2021 to 23, launched for ICCD, that is International Childhood Cancer Day. International Childhood Cancer Day, this was launched in 2002 as a collaborative initiative by Netherlands based Childhood Cancer International, a global network of 176 parent organizations, cancer societies, and childhood cancer support groups in more than 93 countries. So more on this, the World Cancer Day, world cancer day this is observed on 4th of february and the theme of world cancer day what is the theme of world cancer day it is close the care gap close the care gap is a theme of world cancer day going forward who was the head of the committee formed by sebi in 2017 that is the committee on corporate governance is it prakash apte niti chuck or is it Dinesh Pant or Uday Kotek? Right answer here is Uday Kotek. Uday Kotek is the head of the committee formed by SEBI in 2017. Going forward, Securities and Exchange Board of India has announced to make provision for separation of roles of chairperson and MD and CNO as voluntary against mandatory earlier. So in 2017, uh, had formed a committee on corporate governance under the chairmanship of Uday Kotek. As per the latest decisions from SEBI, the top 500 listed companies had to keep a separate chairperson and MD CEO role with effect from April 1st, 2022. Now with less than two months for, the, for this deadline, SEBI has revised its guidelines and changed the instruction from mandatory to voluntary. Going forward, legendary singer, legendary Bengali singer Sandhya Mukherjee passed away. She had refused Padma awards in which year? So she is a Bengali singer, Sandhya Mukherjee. Uh, so she had refused Padma Awards. In which year had she refused it? 2022, 2021 
or 2020 or 2019 and the right answer for this is 2022 that is the right answer legendary bengali singer sandhya mukherjee passed away at the age of 90 years due to cardiac arrest her full name was Geeta Shri Sandhya Mukhopadhyay. She had recently refused to accept the Padma Awards from the central government that was awarded in Jan 2022. Going forward, which state's governor has flagged off historic first ever all women officers offshore sailing expedition of Indian Army? So, which is that state government that has flagged off historic first ever all women officers offshore sailing expedition of Indian Army? Is it Karnataka, Telangana, Odisha or Tamil Nadu? Right answer here is Telangana. That is the right answer. Telangana Governor Tamil Zai Zandarajan has flagged off historic first ever all women officers offshore sailing expedition of Indian Army between the Chennai Vizag, uh, that is Chennai at Chennai Port Trust. Governor praised the Indian Army for opening its door to women and the enhanced role and respect that they command to this day. Women officers completed a grueling training for the expedition, which is yet another step towards women empowerment. Going forward, when was Ravidas Jayanti observed across India? When was Ravidas Jayanti observed across India? Feb 13th, Feb 14th, Feb 15th, or Feb 16th? Right answer here is Feb 16th. That is the right answer. That is when Ravidas Jayanti was observed across India. Going forward, Ravidas Jayanti, this was observed across the country on Feb 16, 2022 to mark the 645th birth anniversary of the renowned Saint Ravidas. The day is observed every year on Mark Punima. Sant Ravidas, he was a Bhakti Saint whose devotional songs and verses were uh, they created a lasting impact upon the Bhakti movement. He was born in an underprivileged family in Seer Govardhanpur, Uttar Pradesh in 14th century. He was one of the first people to oppose the Indian caste system through his poems and teachings based on spirituality and he spread the message of equality. Moving forward, which nation's land forces commander visited India for the very first time on Feb 14, 2022? So, which nation's land force commander visited India? Is it Oman, UAE, Saudi Arabia or Qatar? Right answer here is Saudi Arabia. That's the right answer. Going forward, more on this. Commander of Royal Saudi Land Forces, Lieutenant General Fahd bin Abdullah Mohammed Al Muthair arrived in India on Feb 14, 2022, in a historic first. The three day visit is the first ever visit to India by a serving Royal Saudi Land Force commander. It is the testament of the growing bilateral defense ties between India and Saudi Arabia. Going forward, recently, Maru Mahotsav has been celebrated in Haryana, Rajasthan, Punjab or Gujarat. Where is the Maru Mahotsav celebrated? Right answer here is Rajasthan. Maru Mahotsav has been celebrated in Rajasthan. That is the right answer. The renowned Jai Salmer Desert Festival, also known as Maru Mahotsav of the Golden City, started from 13th to 16th Feb at Pokhran village in Jai Salmer, that is in Rajasthan. Rajasthan Minority Affairs Minister Shale Mohammed flagged off the event. The event is celebrated amidst the beautiful dunes of the Thar Desert in the sand dunes. 42 km from J. Salmer. It is a four day long annual event started with a colorful grand procession followed by Miss Pokhran and Minister, Mr. Pokhran competitions. Regional folk dances such as Kalbaliya, Kachi Godi, Gair will be performed. Going forward, name the app launched by WHO to quit, help quit tobacco in all forms. So, what is the app launched by WHO to help quit? Tobacco in all forms. Quit tobacco app. Quit now. Smoke free or quit tracker. Right answer here is quit tobacco app is the right answer. More on this. World Health Organization Southeast Asia region has launched the quit tobacco app to help people give up the use of tobacco in all forms including smokeless and other new products. The app was launched by Dr. Poonam Ketrapal Singh, a regional director, WHO Seer on Feb 15, 2022 during WHO's year-long commit to quit campaign. This latest tobacco control initiative in the form of app will help users to identify the triggers, set their targets, manage cravings and stay focused to quit tobacco. Moving forward, which country is hosting the Badminton Asia Team Championship 2022? So which is that country which is hosting Badminton Asia Team Championship 2022? Is it Indonesia, Japan, Malaysia or India? Right answer here is Malaysia. Malaysia will be hosting the Badminton Asia Team Championship 2022. Going forward, the Badminton Asia Team Championship 2022 is an ongoing tournament being hosted at the Shah Alam in Malaysia. 
The event began on 15th Feb 2022 and will continue till Feb 20th. The Indian men's badminton team is being led by young Indian shuttler Lakshya Sen. In the absence of a senior player Kidambi Shrikan, while the Indian women's badminton team is being led by Malvika Bansu in the absence of PV Sindhu and Saina Nehwal. Going forward, how many companies of Chinese origin have been banned by government of India? So tell me how many companies of Chinese origin have been banned by government of India? 45, 36, 54 or 65. Right answer here is 54. That is the right answer. The Indian government this will ban 54 more Chinese apps that pose a threat to India security. This was informed by Ministry of Electronics and Information on Feb 14, 2022. The new Chinese app ban in India list includes apps like Beauty Camera, Dual Space Light, Viva Video, Garena Free Fire, uh, Sweet Selfie HD, Tencent uh, Driver, Isoland, or Isoland 2 Ashes of Time Light, Equalizer, and, and a Pass Booster App Lock. All these are not important. What is important is 54 more Chinese app they were uh, blocked because they pose a threat to India's security and India has banned 59 Chinese mobile apps including the popular TikTok and a lot other and they were banned on June 29, 2020 going forward which state has stopped the Saubhagya Yojana that is solar electrification scheme so which is the state which, is, which has stopped the Saubhagya Yojana solar electrification scheme is it Rajasthan, Odisha, Maharashtra, Chhattisgarh? Right answer here is Rajasthan. That is the right answer. Under the Sobagya scheme, Rajasthan has the maximum number of households electrified through the solar-based standalone system. In the hill states of Himachal Pradesh, Sikkim, and the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir had nil beneficiaries under the initiative. Under the Sobagya scheme, 2.817 crore households they were electrified up to March 31st last year, including the 4.16 lakh through solar-based standalone systems. Going forward, who has become the co-chairman of FIKI Media and Entertainment? FIKI stands for Federation of Indian Chambers of Commerce and Industries. So who has become the co-chairman? Is it Jyoti Deshpande, Kritika Sharma, Antima Sripati or Rama Murthy? Right answer here is Jyoti Deshpande. That is the right answer. FIKI, that is Federation of Indian Chambers of Commerce and Industries. This has announced the appointment of Jyoti Deshpande, Chief Executive Officers of Viacom. 18 media private limited as the co-chair of the federation of indian chambers of commerce and industries media and entertainment board this is the first time that a female executive of the media industry has been appointed as one of the office bearers of the vertical going forward we are rajendra nath reddy ips has become the new dgp of which state we rajendra nath reddy is the new dgp of which place maharashtra andhra pradesh Himachal pradesh or tamil nadu right answer here is andhra pradesh so, V. Rajendra Nath Reddy IPS has become the new DGP of Andhra Pradesh. Going forward, more on this 1992 IPS officer K. V. Rajendra Nath Reddy he has been appointed as the new DGP of the state of Andhra Pradesh. Rajendra Nath Reddy is currently intelligence chief of the state and will replace the current DGP Gautam Damodar Savang, who has been transferred and will now report to GAD for further appointment orders. 1986 batch officer Gautam Savang. He is slated to retire on July 2023. Going forward, recently the Prime Minister of which country has implemented the Emergency Act for the first time? So PM of which country has implemented the Emergency Act for the first time? Is it Italy, Canada, France or Greenland? A right answer here is Canada. That is the right answer. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau he has invoked the never before used emergency powers to support provinces in ending the blockades and public disorder that have gripped Ottawa for 18 days at the hands of participants in the so-called freedom convoy the demonstration shut a major economic corridor between canada and united states for six days before it was reopened on 13 feb the emergencies act to deal with the freedom convoy protests started on jan 18th by canadian truckers opposing a vaccinate or quarantine mandate for cross-border drivers they have turned into a rallying point for people opposed to a range of Trudeau's policies including COVID-19 pandemic restrictions and carbon tax. Going forward, Union Ministry of Tribal Affairs has sanctioned how much amount for festival of Medaram Jatra. So Union Ministry of Tribal Affairs this has sanctioned how much amount for Medaram Jatra? 2.26 crore, 1.30 crore, 7.60 crore or 1 crore. Right answer here is 2.26 crore. That is the right answer. Going forward, Union Ministry of Tribal Affairs has sanctioned 2.26 crore rupees for 
various activities pertaining to festival of Medaram Jatra. The Medaram Jatra is the second longest fair of India after the Kumbh Mela, celebrated by second largest tribal community of Telangana, the Koya tribe for four days. So Koya tribe, they are from Telangana and they have organized the Medaram Jatra, which is the second largest fair of India. This year long, uh, this year it is being celebrated from 16th Feb to 19th Feb. Going forward, COP South 22 is an air exercise will be held in which country? COP South 22. Uh, is it Sri Lanka, India, USA or Bangladesh? Right answer here is Bangladesh. More on this. The Air Force of Bangladesh and United States will conduct a joint tactical airlift exercise called COP South 2022 from Feb 20, 2022. The six day exercise has been sponsored by Pacific Air Forces. The bilateral exercise will be held at Bangladesh Air Force. Kurmi Tola Cantonment Dhaka and operating location will be Alpha Silhet, Bangladesh. The goal of the exercise is bolstering bilateral ties between two countries through tactical airlift sorties and subject matter expert exchanges. Going forward, which union territory has launched the Kun Sinoms scheme for differently abled people? Is it Puducherry, Lakshadweep, Delhi or Ladakh? Right answer here is Ladakh. Ladakh Autonomous Hill Development Council Leh has launched Kunsi norms scheme for differently abled person. Kunsi norms e means equal for all, fair for all, and the aim aims inclusive and accessible Ladakh. Under this, Leh Hill Council is providing assistance devices, technologies to needy people at 90% subsidy. Under the schemes, 28 tri scooters, battery run wheelchair, walking aids, and other aids required for special needs of the individuals have been distributed. Going forward, Twitter has partnered with which payments app for its tips feature in India. Is it Paytm, Google Pay, Amazon Pay or Geo Money? Right answer here is Paytm. Paytm is the right answer. Twitter Incorporation has partnered with Paytm's payment gateway to improve the support for its tips feature in India. What is tips feature of Twitter? Using the tips feature, users can send payments to their favorite content creators on Twitter. Tips is now available since November to all Twitter users above 18 years of age in India. It is available in Indian languages including Bengali, Gujarati, Hindi, Kannada, Marathi and Tamil. With this partnership, Twitter users will be able to use the payment facility of Paytm including Paytm Digital Wallet, Paytm Postpaid which is buy now, pay later service, debit card, credit cards and net banking. Going forward, Channa Veerakkanavi was a noted poet and writer of which literature? Bengali, Kannada, Tamil or Assam is right answer here is Kannada that is the right answer. Channa Veerakkanavi, an iconic poet and a writer in Kannada language has passed away. He was 93 years old. He was often referred to as Samanvaya Kavi that is poet of reconciliation. Kanavi received the Sahitya Academy Award in 1981 for his work Jeeva Dwani. Uh, who has authored a book titled Humane, How the US Abandoned Peace and Reinvented War? So who has written this book? Is it Dan Brown, Wendell Berry, Samuel Moyne? or John Birth and the right answer here is Samuel Moyne. More on this. A new book titled Humane, How the United States Abandoned Peace and Reinvented War, authored by Samuel Moyne, was released. The book highlights USA, that is United States of America, strategy on fighting wars and how armed combat was transformed from an imperfect tool for resolving disputes into an integral component of modern condition. The provocative book argues about the endless wars USA created in past, including the Vietnam War, Korean War, World War II, etc. And this development might not represent progress at all. Going forward, who has been made its brand ambassador by Gaming App A23? So who is the brand ambassador of Gaming App A23? Is it Akshay Kumar, Pankaj Tripathi, Shah Rukh Khan or Virat Kohli? Right answer here is Shah Rukh Khan. That is the right answer. A23, an app owned by online skill gaming company. Head Digital Works has announced that it has roped in Bollywood actor Shah Rukh Khan as its brand ambassador. The actor will feature in Chalo Saath Kele campaign along with the first of its kind responsible gaming campaign which showcases skill games such as Rumi, Rummy, Fantasy Sports, Carom and Pool. Going forward, which team has won the 2021 Senior National Volleyball Championship in men's category? Is it Haryana, Odisha, Kerala or Indian Railways? Right answer here is Haryana. So Haryana has won 2021 National Senior Volleyball Championship in men's category. 
Haryana defeated the Indian Railway 3-0 to win men's title in Senior National Volleyball Championship 2021-22. Similarly, in women's category, Kerala defeated the Indian Railway 3-1 to lift the trophy, the 70th Senior National Volleyball that is Men and Women Championship 2021-22 was held at the Biju Patnaik Indoor Stadium KIIT deemed to be University Bhubaneswar from Feb 7 to 13, 2022. Which team has won the 2021 FIFA Club World Cup? So which is the team that has won 2021 FIFA Club World Cup? Is it Monterey, Al Hilal, Chelsea or is it Palmeiras? Right answer here is Chelsea. That's the right answer. English club Chelsea defeated Brazilian club Palmeiras 2-1 to win the 2021 FIFA Club World Cup held on Feb 12th. Chelsea has won FIFA Club World Cup for the first time. The deceived goal was scored by Kai Havertz with a 3 minute of extra time to go. The final was held at Mohammed bin Zayed Stadium, Abu Dhabi. Coming forward. Which state has started Operation Parivartan? So, which is that state that has started Operation Parivartan to end, to end cultivation of cannabis? Is it Andhra Pradesh, Odisha, Maharashtra, or West Bengal? Right answer is Andhra Pradesh. Andhra Pradesh has started Operation Parivartan. Andhra Pradesh police have initiated Operation Parivartan, a, spe a special operation undertaken to eliminate the cultivation and supply of cannabis. As a part of this operation, Andhra Pradesh, yes, Andhra Pradesh is the right answer, Sush. Andhra Pradesh DGP Gautam Savan has destroyed 2 lakh kilograms of cannabis in Vishakhapatnam from November 2021 to Feb 2022. The Andhra Pradesh police deforested cannabis plant spread across 7,552 acres before the harvest season under this operation. And that's it for today. I hope you liked the video. If you like the video, please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much. We will catch up yet again in another video. Until the next video, bye-bye. Tata, take care. See you.